Well, hello, everyone. I want to thank you for opening up your home and your schedules to be a part of this new round of small group ministries here at Crossroads Church. We're so thankful for your hospitality, as well as your desire to facilitate uh, this important curriculum that we want to share with you right now. We've entitled uh, this meeting that we're having right now as the Group Lifter. We want to encourage you uh, in all that God has for you with opening your heart and your home for this next round of small groups. And as you have heard, uh, we're going to be joined by Dr. Fred Bishi, who's sitting to my left, and he's going to join me on each of the sessions in instructing you and I on the importance of our health journey with the Lord. And this next round of small groups is unique in that fashion. Oftentimes, we relegate the topic of health and nutrition to just the first few days of the beginning of a new year or before something big that's going to happen in our life, like a wedding, we got to fit into a tuxedo, we got to fit into a dress, or perhaps it's the summer, we get a little vain about our appearance, and so we look to get and buy into the latest fad, you know, some type of get fit quick scheme. Well, as we'll share throughout all six sessions, getting healthy is not just a quick fix. Rather, like our spiritual focus with God, it is a lifestyle decision. And hopefully through these creative and practical lessons, we'll be able to impart some truth from God's word, along with uh, decades of experience that Dr. Fred has been blessed with from Almighty God, because that's the perspective we're going to be coming from, and we want to encourage you to come from in your discussion time with your group members, is that all of this that we're going to be putting forth and sharing comes from the truth of God's Word, because after all, God's Word is the true substance of who we are, and it is that which we must focus upon for our obedience to God, especially as it pertains to our health. And so a couple of quick pointers with your group. One thing that we want to encourage you to do, and it sounds uh, somewhat uh, in, uh, maybe perhaps unimportant, but it is, is how about let's make a change with all of our group ministry right from the top. Instead of bringing those high calorie cakes, let's put out a text message or an email and encourage everybody to bring a healthy snack because fellowship is important before and after the group. And we don't want that to go away but let's kind of flip the script and let's focus on uh, healthy snacks and healthy discussion as well. Another tip that we want to encourage you is to consult with the group guidelines at the very start of your group. There's always going to be one or two people within the context of a group who might try to dominate the group and might try to take it over with their particular questions. You as the facilitator will have to set the tone from the very first session and if needed, review those group guidelines so that your group could stay focused upon the curriculum and the discussion that has been set forth. Because that's one of the beauties of a video-based curriculum. In our fast-paced, busy world with tight schedules, it's hard to put a lesson together every week. And so you being able virtually just to push play and to go over the curriculum with your group enables you to more focus on the fellowship and the facilitation of the questions that we will provide for you. And so really use the group guidelines and try to stick to them. The other important factor that we want to encourage you with is that you want to encourage your group to have excellent attendance. And if they can't, to notify you of that. This is a short-term commitment of only six weeks. Now, why do we want you to encourage your group members to have good attendance? Because really what we've seen is the buy-in for a small group requires that. If people just come once or twice, they're really not going to get connected, not going to get to know people. But if they could come for a majority of those six lessons for all of them, well, they're going to develop some lasting relationships. And Lord willing, this curriculum is going to sink in. And then finally, and most importantly, is we want to ask you as the group facilitator and host to be praying for your group. We want to challenge you every day to be praying for your group. Get to know your members, pray for them by name, pray for your home, pray for the, the building, wherever you're holding your small group. Realize how very important that is. And I close with that note. On behalf of our church, I want to thank you for this valuable piece of contribution that you are making. Oftentimes we think of offerings in terms of dollar signs, but perhaps the most 
important investment you can make into your church is doing what you're doing right now by opening your home and your schedule for the small group ministry. And so on behalf of everybody who's involved with the small group ministry, Joe and Tisha, of course, I want to thank you for participating this small group semester. And so join me now in a prayer of dedication as we ask God's blessing upon uh, the Health Renewal Small Group Series. Let's pray together. Our Father, our God, we thank you for the privilege that we have to come and study your word. May we be encouraged by this new small group curriculum. May we look to be healthy spiritually, physically, mentally, relationally, financially, Lord, in every which way that we might bring honor to you. I thank you for Dr. Fred and for him joining us and lending his expertise to this area. Bless all that he's going to share and bless our hearts and may our ears be open as well. I thank you for all who are participated in making this curriculum possible. And God, may you be glorified and may there be great and holy results. We give you thanks and praise and dedicate this next round of small groups to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. May God bless you and your efforts. We'll see you in session one.